Hey you guys, my name is Lauren and this is my channel, Naturally Lori. If you all are interested and want to see how I got this super cute protective style, I had to stop and let y'all see. If y'all want to see how I got this super cute protective style, then just keep watching this video. It's very quick and easy. Well, it's easy. Uh, depending on how quick you twist, it might be quick, you know. Just depends on you, but it's very easy. So just stay tuned. Keep watching my video. Thank you. Okay, y'all, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my hair out of this little bun. I'm starting off on freshly washed and conditioned hair so it's nice and moisturized. I will be moisturizing my hair with this Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner and regular conditioner. And I'm going to be using those small perm rods on the ends of my hair. So the first thing you see me doing is creating a straight middle part. So I'm gonna go ahead and side up this side so I can get started with the other side first. So the first step is just to detangle my hair. And before I do that, I'm gonna spritz my hair with a little bit of water so I can have a little bit of slip while detangling. It isn't super tangled because I did start off on freshly cleaned and conditioned hair but yeah so after doing that I'm going to go ahead and part my hair and I am doing a diagonal part um I just think that's super it's it's just more cute in my opinion so as you can see right here I'm just perfecting my part So to start moisturizing this first section, the first thing I want to do is go in with some water and just quickly go in and lightly detangle. And then I'm going to go in with my first moisturizing product, which will be the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner, as you will see in just a second. And I'm going to apply that thoroughly throughout my hair. Next, I'm going to take the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner to um, use as my second moisturizer. Yes, I do use rinse out conditioners. I just personally love Shea Moisture Conditioner, so it's not a problem for me. And then after that, after my hair is coated with that, I'm going to go in with an oil to just seal in all my moisture. Next, I'm going to take some gel and just apply that where my hair will be smoothed. After I'm done applying my gel, I'm going to take this hard bristle brush and just smooth my hair down. So this isn't necessarily a flat twist tutorial, but I decided to zoom in so you can kind of see how I'm doing it. Now, the, this clip is completely sped up to the highest speed I can get it on. And as you can see, I'm still going a little slow. I flat twist slowly. It's just kind of hard for me. It doesn't come as naturally. The only, the biggest tip I can give you when flat twisting is you add hair to the piece on the bottom so whatever piece is on the bottom that you're about to put on top is the piece that gets the hair and just try to do it as tightly as you can um for some people it could actually be easier i feel like the thicker your hair is the easier it will be because you have more to work with versus me i don't have super thick hair so it's a little i don't know that's just my opinion though uh but yeah Since this is a protective style at the ends of my hair, I'm going to add more product. So I just want to make sure my hair is moisturized. And once I get to the very ends, I'm going to go in with a rat tail comb and um, just really smooth it out. And after I do that, I'm going to twirl the end of the hair around my finger. And then I'm going to go in with my perm rod. And once I do that, 
uh, I'm going to wrap my ends first, apply a little bit of product just to make sure it stays in place. And then I'm just going to wind my hair up until the desired length I would like. So for this next twist, um, I got a big old head, y'all. So I moisturized and did everything on this twist um, in sections. So I detangled in sections. I applied my product in sections. You will see all of that in just a bit. Once again, I'm applying my leave-in conditioner, and um, like I just mentioned, I'm applying it in sections. So I'm going to go back in with a little bit more product to apply to the back. Next, I'm going in with my next product, which is the conditioner, and I am applying that in the same exact manner in sections. And now I'm going in with my oil to seal in my moisture. And lastly, before twisting, I'm going to go in with my gel to smooth my hair. And now I am starting on this flat twist. Now, something I did do, which I will show y'all again, is um, I've twisted these two twists towards going upward and i'm going to twist the other twist on the on the opposite side excuse me going upward as well so in the same direction but flipped if that makes sense uh that's just the cutest in my personal opinion but you'll be able to see what i'm talking about better in a different clip Just like the last twist, after I finish this twist, I'm going to go ahead and apply my perm rod. And then this right here is the result of my first two twists. As you can see, they look really good and juicy, especially in the back. So now I'm going to go off camera and do the next two, as you see. And now I'm just going to apply some oil on my pars and then also where I typically get the most dry when I do protective styles. So, yeah. And I wanted this side to be very simple, so I'm just going to take four of these red hair jewelries and just apply one to each twist, and you will see exactly where I apply them. And this is how I'm looking after applying those four hair jewelries. It's just a very super cute and simple style. I really, really do love it. Right here is when I was showing y'all that I did my twist going upward. So the two on each side was going, you know, towards the top to make it just cuter. And then right here, I am doing my baby hairs. Um, y'all see me doing them in every video. I say this in every video. But when I do them, I just do it in a swoop motion. So I brush them down, put my finger right there, as you can see, and just swoop it back. Very easy, very simple. Once I get them laid, y'all know I like to go in with a little bit of extra gel just to apply right on top. Um, and that's what you're going to see me doing right here. Okay, you guys. So this is my wet results, I think you would say. 
I'm gonna give y'all like a better spin around in a couple of hours. So the next step to ensure your hair is flawless is to apply a satin scarf. This is the one I personally like. So as you can see, I'm applying it. And then once I get this on, I'm actually going to put on a bonnet to protect my ends. Okay, so it's the next morning, and this is what my hair looks like after taking off my scarf. Only one little area of my baby hairs got messed up, so I'm just going to fix that before I take out my perm rods. And now I'm just taking out my perm rods. I was a little, like, um, feeling type of way about this first curl, but after I, like, got done recording and I actually wore it out, my hair was so freaking cute, y'all. Like, I got so many compliments at church. Uh, my hair was just shiny. The curls was popping, and this was just a cute style, so I definitely recommend it to y'all to try. It's just very cute. Okay, y'all, so this is the final result. I did this cute diagonal parts, but yeah, this is the final result. I actually do like it. I like it's very soft i like the way it looks it looks very sleek and very clean in my opinion but yeah so that's pretty much it for this video i really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial i hope one of y'all try to recreate it i don't know maybe it give you an idea on how to you know just keep your hair nice and moisturized and safe in the protective style and neither one of those protective styles that does not pull on your scalp does not pull on your edges it's like just safe all you got to do is wrap it up and put a bonnet on at night and it will last you may have to like redo them about every two to three days depending on your hair type because some people's hair can just stay in the style like this forever but since my hair is kind of soft it'll get real like fuzzy and stuff so i have to redo it and in some people's opinion i probably wouldn't have to redo it it's just i'm such a perfectionist when it comes to my hair and i notice every small little thing that anybody else probably wouldn't notice like girl why are you redoing your hair your hair look good well to me it could be redone so that's my only tip if y'all do choose to redo it depending on your hair type and your personal preference you might have to you know touch them up every two to three days it's sunday morning well around noon right now i'm gonna go to church but i may have to redo this tuesday night because on wednesday i want to record videos so you know i just want it to look nice and fresh but you know we'll see i don't know i will keep y'all updated on my instagram this video a big big thumbs up i would really really appreciate it comment down below share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel i'm going to see y'all in my next one bye